Hello, and this is Sunny. Welcome back. Today, my topic is ISDN, Integrated Services Digital Network. Not a long time ago, the PSTN was all analog, from customer premises to central office, local loop, and from central office to the backbone of the network. PSTN was simply designed for analog telephone calls. With the advent of personal computers, digital data transmission was needed. For voice calls, everything remained the same. For computers, modems were developed to allow the digital exchanges over existing analog PSTA network. Digital signals are modulated to analog signals and transmitted over the PSTA network. Only at the receiving end, analog signals are demodulated back to original digital signals. But analog signals have many disadvantages compared with digital signals. One. Over the long distance, analog signals cannot maintain high quality. Two, analog signals carry less information per second than digital signals. Three, analog signals are not so flexible as digital signals in terms of data rate services and support. For these reasons, ISDN came to the rescue. ISDN is a set of international communication standards designed in 1980s and improved in 1990s. It is a digital network to transmit voice, image, video, and text over the existing circuit-switched PSTN telephone network. ISDN provides a single interface for hooking up. Your telephone, fax machine, and computers. Here is a simplified version of ISDN setup at a small office or home office. Different types of devices, such as an analog phone, a fax machine, or a computer, are connected to an ISDN terminal adapter or TA. Which converts different types of data into ISDN format, so that they can share the same digital PSTA network. There are two ISDN options: Basic Rate Interface or BRI, and Primary Rate Interface or PRI. BRI uses two barrel channels and one 16 kilobits per second data channel, represented by the notation 2B plus D. Barrel channel, by its name, bears traffic from point to point. It uses circuit switching method to carry data. Each barrel channel can carry data at the rate of 64 kilobits per second. Data channel might be confusing because data channel or D channel does not carry the real data. Instead, it carries information about the data and signaling information. Take a telephone call as an example. Data channel may carry information like session initiation and termination signals, caller ID, and etc. BRI. Is a common option for home users. This is an example of BRI setup at a small office or home office. Three different types of data are converted to ISDN formats and then connected to ISDN through network termination one or NT1. NT1 controls electrical. And physical termination of ISDN at a user's premise. Terminal adapter and NT1 are not necessarily two separate devices. 
they can be in a one single box. PRI is commonly used by a business and organization. This type of ISDA uses 23 barrier channels and one 64 kilobits per second data channel represented by the notation 23B plus D. In a typical PRI setting, there is an actual device, Network Termination 2 or NT2, which is a multiplexer of different data. NT1 is then connected to ISDA network. In the last 10 years, ISDA has been replaced by many broadband internet access connections such as DSL, keyboard modems, and many other less expensive but faster technologies. Still, ISDA has its place as a backup to dedicated lines and in locations where the broadband service is not yet available. I hope this video is helpful. Thank you very much and see you next time. Oh, don't forget to subscribe.